Washington. A city I've known all my life. I've grown up here since the day I was born. And now, it's all gone. All of it left in ruins. Everybody green. Everybody is on me. I'm gonna find out how this came about. You're gonna join me. Join me as I find out what causes zombie virus. Be sure to like and subscribe at the end of this video. Make sure you do watch all of it. Cause it is a pretty good video. Let's go. I scanned around the area. It's highly guarded. It was a quiet day. Quieter than normal. Quieter than it ever should be in the town of Washington. That's just how life is now. I found my way carefully around the surrounding foliage, using it as a good camouflage, like all good soldiers would. I made my way to the bushes, knowing it would be a safe shelter for me to camp out and see exactly what these felons were up to. I could see one over by the dock, and two in hazmat suits. They were up to something illegal, and it involved chemicals. I was going to find out what. Of course, it wouldn't be too hard for a man of my standards to get past the guards. Cold-blooded murder is something I would never asso associate myself with. But today is an exception. It helps me restore Washington back to its glory days. Then I was willing to do it. The area was wrecked. Wrecked like something had gone off. And since this was a nuclear reactor, I was kind of scared to discover what that was. I climbed my way up the cell phone tower just to see if there were any, any helpful loot to find any more clues. I picked up a 7 scope, but it proved no use. I found nothing. Nothing in the front yard. Where would you keep most of the stuff if it had blown up in a nuclear reactor? Then I made the foolish decision to fight the hazmat suit people. They're evil, evil people. I'd only killed about two, three of them in my lifetime. I despise them with all of my hate. All of me. He got a good kick out of me, but I got a good kick out of him. I, I looked through the crates, but there was still, still nothing. There were a few steel pads around, but nothing much. Check the near cars, the other debris around the area. Still nothing. What was I missing? Then it clicked. One of the cars in the front yard where you keep most things after a nuclear reactor. Right, bravo team. As you can see, they were up to something illegal. Very illegal. They had arms on the ready, and they were about to engage in some kind of warfare. If I were to stop that, it would help greatly. getting kind of lucky with the things I was finding in the surrounding area, but luck eventually runs out, as I'm sure few Uncharted fans would recognize that line. I've been stuck on that chapter for quite a while now. Anyway, I'm getting I'm getting attacked heavily by the hazmat suits. They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. I went inside for shelter. I probably shouldn't have, because most things would have been nuclear in there. Radioactive. I had to find out what the scorpion meant. But I had no time, because I was being attacked by all of these 
Then BAM! I found myself up in a bush on top of a hill. I didn't know where I was and didn't know why I was there. All I know is that they wanted me. Dead or alive. I found a military base at the bottom of the hill. It was a strange little place. It had a few towers, a big wall around the side to stop any intruders getting in. Well, I don't think that's gonna work. I punched my way heavily through the guards, as you'll see in a minute. Any time now. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. I made my way through the guards with ease, just like I did at the facility. And eventually they died. Come on, any time now. There we go. Anyway. I made my way through quite a lot of these people before I had to I had to get through a lot of these people before I could get into the facility. I didn't find anything there, but it was good to just unleash my anger I'd felt. As you'll see now, I'll leave you to it. A month into the search for more survivors like me, I got intel from a secret organization. I can't tell you its name because I can't remember it. Anyway, we're taking the long road and the road eventually has a stop. A stop that involved a military camp or rather a car crash on the side of the road. 
In fact, it was overridden with zombies, and I couldn't kill all of them. I had to retreat for a while, and I came back the next day, knowing that I would definitely kill these bastards. Just like that. I had some help, helpful equipment. Very helpful. Like a chainsaw. I was going to cut down some trees and set up shelter just outside the place. But I decided it was too risky. Because the doors would never be closed. Because I didn't have any of them. Anyway, I came back the next day. To bring my compound bow. To finish off the last of them. I looked around the surrounding area for secret, secret information, but I couldn't find any in any of the cars around the area. It was unfortunate, it was an unlucky find, and I was on the verge of death, but I came back the next day. The place had smoked up, something had crashed here recently, and I had lost my stuff. So, I'm Let's not mention that. Anyway, we have the chainsaw, and that's all we need. Okay, and kill them. Kill them. There we go. Oh, it was it was nice to see the blood scattered across the floor, but it's nothing compared to what happened next. What happened next is quite possibly one of the best things I've ever done in any game or any lifetime ever. Let me show you.
then, as if out of absolutely nowhere, I just found my objective. I found what caused the zombie virus, and why I had been looking for so long. I recognize this place is the place we started the story. Old Washington Bay. Oh my god, it was good to be back. And somewhere around here, yes, the food, fast food place, that's where I remember it, I saw, I saw it, it was a scam from Big J's, the nuclear power plant had had an association with Big J, leading to poisonous berries that had led to everyone becoming a zombie, hence why they set up the military, aka the Bravo team, to try and stop the spread. Of course, it all made sense now. How could I have been so blind? Well, it's absolutely amazing how easily the human mind can be tricked just by what somebody has told you. What I told you for the past 20 minutes has been lies and deceit and nothing but. I am the one who caused the virus. I am the one who's trying to wipe out the people. Now, now that you know that truth, you can do nothing but sit back and watch. Watch as I massacre my own people. What are you going to do about it? Got military vision, night vision, entire bag full of weaponry, potent arsenal, so all you can do now is sit back, watch, and enjoy the show. <laughs> <laughs>